Are you tired of the typical libraries with conventional music that makes you feel meh? Introducing Lyrics.com, the music website made for and by minds like you. Our team are lifelong musicians and producers in love with music. Search the Lyrics music catalogs and find music with guaranteed originality. Mark the difference with music of signature at lyrics.com. Never alone with you by my side. I keep a picture in my pocket till the day I die. And now I'm alone. I hear your distant call. A bottle in a short row. It's good company. You're good company. This is so impressive. This is fantastic, a wonderful song. And if you saw it, not only listen to it, but also saw it, you will blow your mind because this is only, all of this sound is coming out of only one person. <laughs> Play all the instruments at once. This is incredible. And we have, we had Edgar Blood uh, with us. It's a, it's a privilege. Hey, hi, Edgar. How's it going? How's it going? Yeah, it's Edgar Blood out in sunny California. Fabulous. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Beautiful weather, right? That's all right right now. You know, it's getting kind of overcast, but last week it was 80 degrees and I was barbecuing. So we'll nice. see what next week it has in store. <laughs> wonderful. Um, look, this this is really impressive. I mean, your, your proficiency with these instruments and what kind of adjustments do you have to do just you know take it for introduce yourself tell us about your journey and your music please yeah absolutely so i mean i it, it kind of explains itself and that is i'm a it's like a jack of all trades thing you know i started playing guitar you know when i was a little kid i wanted to you know pick up a guitar and start playing music that i liked and then i kind of started writing my own stuff started joining bands and you know, getting my feet wet with uh, playing with other people. And then from there, you know, I transitioned to playing drums, like on my own, um, and then being in bands as a drummer. And then from there, I, you know, I was definitely inspired by a lot of other one-man bands that are out there. Um, one of the first that I remember seeing was Dead Elvis and his one-man grave. It was awesome. Definitely got to check him out, too. Um, but yeah, I figured I was like, well, I'm kind of good at drums, and I'm kind of good at guitar, and try and throw it all together <laughs> at the same time and try and sing over all of that at the same time. It's, uh, it's, it's an interesting thing to do, but you know, it, uh, I, I can make my own schedule. That's, that's the best part of it is I can, uh, practice and play shows whenever I want. I don't have to depend on other people. Right. Gives you your <laughs> independence, right? Um, yeah. But, um, you know, how do you, if you know, would explain to, to, uh, to some of some of the listeners how, how you adjusted uh, your let's say the drum set right because you're sitting and how do you do it do you <laughs> right do you what's the compromise um oh yeah the compromise is definitely you know i had to you know maneuver the snare drum so that i could you know hit it with my you know, I had to tilt the, the stand and then i had to move like the, the hi-hats would normally be on, you know, depending on your, your dominant hand, your left-handed or right-handed, you're always hitting the hats with that. So I had to like move the hat stand near my kick drum so I could hit both at the same time and all these little things. I guess obviously the compromise is the, uh, when you're playing drums, you're playing, you know, you're playing stuff with your feet, keeping time with a foot, hitting the kick drum with another foot, and you're doing all this stuff with your hands. Um, so the complexity, you know, there is a, a little bit of a drawback. You don't get to be as complex and you know drum fills and stuff like that but i'm trying you know it's definitely uh, a learning you know a learning curve to it it's it's you get the kind of basics down and then you know you get you get okay at the basics and then you start trying to add you know, things and changes here and there and i guess it's kind of um if you listen to my first first album 
from 2019, and then you listen to like my most recent album, uh, I feel like you can. There's a noticeable change, a little bit. You know, it's a little bit better, a little bit cleaner, sounds better. Okay, uh, we will have to uh, check them both. Uh, can you tell us the titles? Oh yeah, so the uh, the first first album I put out in 2019 is just self titled, so it's Edgar Blood by Edgar Blood, <laughs> uh, okay. and then the most recent album that I'm you know I'm pretty you know I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm really proud of it. It kind of came out of you know I think everybody is in the same situation where the pandemic you know it it breeds a lot of creativity because you're kind of yeah, <laughs> for lack of a better term you're, you're kind of trapped. You know you're I was hanging out in my house and staying home and working from home. So I had a lot of more free time and I had just come out with my second album, not too much earlier than that. Um, but tall, yeah, tall tales it came out, uh, October of last year. You know, it's a very, uh, I tried to aim it in a little bit heavier, you know, trying to get, trying to get into like a little bit more metal inspired territory, kind of leaning away from like kind of the, I originally started in a very like bluesy garage rock, uh, rooted kind of sound. And then I was like, Oh, well, I'm good at this, but I want to push. I want to push it a little bit. I want to see, you know, can I make these songs harder? Can I make uh, the drumming, the foot drums, more complex, like we were saying? And then, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm proud of it. it. It came out exactly how I wanted it to, and it was interesting because there's definitely um, kind of it. How do you explain it? It's uh, it's got some songs that were written kind of during the tail end of the second album. And then there's songs that I wrote kind of during the pandemic where I was trying to push myself harder to write more complicated songs or complex, not complicated, but complex. Um, so it, it's funny because a lot of people will listen to Tall Tales um, that came out last year and they're like, oh, you know, you got songs that sound very melodic and catchy, but then you have songs that are a little bit heavier and have like breakdowns and like crunchy riffs and you know it's a little bit a little bit of a departure from where i started um but i like it you know it, it, it's all part of the evolution it's all about trying to you know push it harder you know get heavier get catchier you know make everything to 11 <laughs> all parts of it awesome yeah definitely i mean this song we're listening to wins in the east is really fantastic if you, yeah. if you right if you wouldn't see you playing you would you know like could be could be bad <laughs> so there's really no compromise that you can hear and i love that because you are composing in a very intelligent way you know you the trade-offs of whatever you have to do is almost unnoticeable you know like you're doing the yeah. right thing for the song do you feel like that <laughs> yeah i mean it's um it's it's definitely something that you know i don't think a lot of people take it for that value. I genuinely appreciate that comment because, you know, people are obviously very, um, I wouldn't say taken aback, but they're, you know, the first thing they notice, obviously, it's, a, it's, un, it's, it's, you can't miss it, <laughs> is that, you know, it's one person. It's, it's just me by myself. But I try to, you know, I really try to dig into making the songs themselves, you know, really good songs. You know, I, you know, at least to me, in my opinion, um, getting, getting a song that sounds like a pleasing, you know, it's catchy. It's a, it can get stuck in your head or it's, you know, got heavy riffs that are memorable or anything like that. You know, I try and I really do pay attention a lot to my writing to try and make it what I'm happy with first. And then the one man band thing kind of comes second. It's, it's, it's a means to a way, you know, um, a means to a way it's, it's, I want to do this because I like, you know, utilizing the foot drums and the kind of <laughs> the spectacle of being one person doing it is definitely alluring, but yeah. I definitely never try and compromise the songwriting. I think, I feel like the songwriting for me, it always comes first. It's always the first thing in mind. In my, in my process, when I'm making a song or making an album or any sort of composition, whether how it works into being a one man band or not, it's almost not the case. I do the oh. song first. I make the song the best it could possibly be, mm -hmm. and then and then I go, okay, well, how does that translate to being a one man band? <laughs> If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. I mean, look, the song is fantastic, regardless. And um, what uh, what are the things I wanted to ask you? So you're talking about the recording process, and I would like you to explain that. Number one, 
you know, how do you go about recording? Like, how do you do it? Uh, do you have your, your yeah, sure, self studio? <laughs> but, but the real question in your in your case is, do you play it all at once? Because <laughs> I would imagine if you were recording drums, you might be tempted to like do more stuff, right? So yeah, you... and then that yeah. So that's a very, very interesting observation because I'm definitely always trying to push the envelope, try and make things harder, but I do know my limits, I guess you could say. is I know, and it, you hit the nail right on the head, is if I'm doing it a certain way in the studio, which I just record at my own, I have a home, my old home studio, and I've collected gear and done all my stuff and my homework and my research, uh, but it's definitely... A, a tightrope, you know, you got to make sure you're making the songs sound good and that fits within the context of the song. But you're totally right where, you know, uh, if I'm in the studio, it might be easier to say, oh, well, I can just cut a bajillion takes. I can, you know, if I if I mess up, I can uh, I can go back and redo it. But I definitely don't want to ever commit anything to tape that I wouldn't be able to pull off live. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't want to do something so just outlandishly, you know, complex and then it rubber meets the road. I'm like, okay, time to go play a show and not be able to pull it off. That, that's kind of a almost a fear of mine of being able to like making it so so much more than it can be mm -hmm. to the point where I wouldn't be able to pull it off live. Because that's another that's the 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 tripod situation of it is you got the songwriting You've got the um, the one man band complexity aspect of it, and then the ability to do it live in person. You know, if somebody comes to the show and they hear it, it's not going to sound like, oh well, he made it way more complicated on the record. He's no way he's going to do that live. I definitely don't want anybody to come to a show and you know expect one thing and then get another. So I always keep it within that, that mindset of being like, okay, I, I still need to be able to pull this off live. And, <laughs> you know, for like a 45 or an hour long set too. So it gets it's super tiring. But um, no, I, I, you know, I throughout it at a year, for, you know, it's kind of uh, typical nowadays that you have an album cycle. You have an album cycle. So you um, come up with a concept and you get it all, you know, you start writing it out. And then yeah, I just set up everything in my in my little home studio, and and I just pound out. And, you know, I try to my best. I always try my best to make it so that when I'm going in to record a song, it's already a song I can play, just beginning to end flawlessly. I try to limit my uh, <laughs> my time, in when I'm when I'm recording to not you know, it's very easy with a home studio and in recording gear at home to be like, oh, I can take my time. I can do, I can work on this for you know, a couple of weeks or I could work on this for a year if I wanted to. Yeah. Um, I try not to do that. I try to make it, I try to, I try to put those limits on myself and those constraints because it's very easy to get caught up in uh, perfection, I guess. Yeah. It's sitting there and, you know, recording a thing a hundred times like, okay, that's the take, you know, that could take you a week or that could take you months. And I definitely try not to do that. I, I agree with you. I think it's a good idea to keep also to keep the reality and the truth of the moment the the, the face where you wrote the songs if it's it's exactly. uh, it's tempting like you were saying to you know pursue perfection and take a long time to to finish the album but i i don't know i feel like it will over time lose <laughs> sincerity and and the reality of the moment when, absolutely when the i mean that's one of the Exactly. That's one of my my favorite things to do to myself is is like like limitations. I mean, it doesn't take anybody to realize that a very big um, inspiration kind of where it all came from was listening to lots of like the White Stripes and Jack White. It's a very it's very easy to kind of get into the same uh, mindset of, of limitations where you know I definitely don't try. To, I don't aim for perfection. You know, there's a definitely a sound that I'm going for that, you know, if you polish it, if you polish it too much, it loses its authenticity. It loses its, its rawness. And that's where I like to live. I like to live in that very raw, you know, in the moment, you know, keeping things sincere. Exactly. Like you said, I mean, it's, I live in that. I love that feeling. I love that, you know, 
raw aspect of somebody just pouring it all out, you know, hitting those things as hard as possible and playing as loud as possible. I love it. Yeah, I, fantastic. And I also, it's a matter of, um, how do you say, it's a sensibility, I guess. Where is the limit? Where's that fine line? Where is, you know, it achieves the type of the, the, the sound that you're going for, but at the same time, it's keeping the reality uh, of it, right? And, um, exactly. And, and the truth. Sometimes you take it too far in the studio and then it's missing something. It's kind of missing the soul of it. So I love it. I love it. I love exactly. It. Okay. Well, yeah. No, nah, it's, it's very cool. Let me ask you this. Do you miss... So now that you're doing this, so you come from the world of being in bands and playing with others, now you took the decision, I'm going to do it all by myself. And beyond reasons or circumstances, do you miss it at all? Or do you see this like your your future? <laughs> are, are, or are you ever pl thinking like, I would like to play with others? What, what is that? I, that's a very interesting nobody's ever asked me that before do I miss it do I miss being in band full bands with you know multiple people covering you know I, the first thing I think of is like oh covering their ground you know they're kind of responsible for their their contribution to the band and it always kind of ends up being a situation where since they're they're responsible for their contribution you almost not you but you know and if you're a guitar player you're not sitting there worried about the drummer 24 7 because you're like well he's got that covered if he's a good drummer you know <laughs> if he's if he's responsible it's kind of like well i don't have to worry about that well in this i have to worry about all of it and you know I, sometimes i've gotten called out once or twice to be like oh oh you, you're a control freak is what it is you want to have <laughs> control over everything and i, I well, maybe maybe not you know when i was in the band that i was in i in one way or another ended up ended up being kind of um kind of a leader you know i was writing and playing guitar in most bands that i was in if i wasn't playing drums um i was always kind of the ringleader and so i was like well what better way to do this than to just do all of it <laughs> do it all by myself um funny enough there's a there's a great quote um by another uh near and dear one-man band bob log the third um in in a what was it a documentary a one-man band documentary um And he says, it, it, the concept really is of a one-man band is, you know, loving music so much that you want to do all of it. You want to do every part of it. You, lo you know, nice. Loving and being so indebted to the music and just music in and of itself as an appreciator, as a listener and a maker. It's loving music so much that you just, you got to do all of it. And you want to just, you want to do as much as you can. Nice. <laughs> so now I don't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you don't miss. Fantastic. Look. So you're playing live. Are you playing live these days? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it, it's picking up, you know. I think everybody's in the same boat right now where we're just getting what we can. You know, I'm definitely not, um, you know, because when, when, I, when I mean one-man band, I mean <laughs> I, I'm managing it, I'm booking it, I'm doing the social media, I'm doing, you know, every aspect that would be across multiple people as far as a, uh, a band or kind of a faction of, of, of a product like a, like a brand or anything like I'm doing all of it man I'm doing every facet of it so yeah no I, I, I'm a little slow right now on, on going out of my way to be a hardcore booking so I'm not playing as many shows right now obviously in California we have our, our limits and our limitations because of a certain pandemic um, but things are loosening up I've got I got some shows lined up I got one in june at winter's tavern which is a phenomenal venue uh they, they're they really are about music they just love getting local bands and in, in there and getting them on stage letting them play no matter what and that's definitely the kind of vibe that i i love living in that too just you know the scene music scenes and stuff so i can't wait i can't wait to play more really <laughs> wonderful yeah i think and it is definitely i'm sure it's going to be a show to see You know, see so you playing all the instruments at once and, you know, just, just for the fun of, of seeing, seeing that, right? And on top of the wonderful music, obviously. So, all right. Uh, well, again, thank you so much, uh, you know, giving us some Absolutely. Of your time and, and I'm really appreciative for, for it. Uh, really, really, your music is, is great. And um, let me ask you this. So, if you, what's, what's the perfect future that you, you can think for yourself for your music? <laughs> the perfect future 
Um, probably, I mean, you know, I'm, 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 I am a family man and I have a job and stuff like that. And I'm definitely a weekend warrior and I live in that and I enjoy it. It, it allows me, you know, the music scene and the, well, the music industry as a whole right now is, it's so, uh, how do you, it, it's, it's self, you have to be self-motivated. You have to be doing, you have to be ready to do it and ready to put in the work. And the cool thing is, is you will get as far as as much work you want to put in and, I'm definitely, I'm definitely at the point where I, I want to put in more work. You know, I definitely want to, I want to see how far this thing can go. <laughs> I'll uh, ride it out to the wheels fall off, as they say. <laughs> nice. nice. Well, I'll, you know, all, all the best with that and best luck. Um, and before, Absolutely. Thank you. Of course. And before we go, um, <laughs> what type of advice would you give to your younger self? Oh man. Um, I would say slow down is the weirdest thing. Uh, I, if I were to find myself 10 years ago, 15 years ago, I would just go to myself and, and, and give myself a hug and say, hey, you know what? Slow down. <laughs> I lived really fast when I was younger and tried to do as much as possible thinking I had some sort of short amount of time to do it. So I was just constantly going, 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 going. And I still am to some degree. Um, yeah, slow down enjoy it enjoy the moment and, and and live in it don't don't worry about uh you know anything that unless it's obviously something crazy but you know live in it and enjoy it remember it be 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 present, be present. definitely that's fantastic advice okay <laughs> wins in the east and this is edgar blood and this it was really great speaking with you honestly thank you um, yeah all the best <laughs> And we're gonna enjoy a little bit more of your song, Winston East. Thank you. Thank you. And now we're alone. You're breathing down my so cold I make my head stand on edge And now I'm alone I feel you hold my hand A ghost in a sharp night It's good company You're good company When you're alone I'll be there with you soon Leaving in the void Keeps me from When you're alone, I'll be there with you soon. Leaving in the void keeps me from you. I keeps me from you. It's cold and it's gray. Are you tired of the typical libraries with conventional music that makes you feel mad? Introducing Lyrics.com. The music website made for and by minds like you. Our team are lifelong musicians and producers in love with music. Search the Lyrics music catalogs and find music with guaranteed originality. Mark the difference with music of signature at lyrics.com.